வணக்கம் எயிட் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சயின்ஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் மீடியம் யூனிட் ஃபோர் ஹீட் புக் பேக் எக்ஸசைசஸ் சூஸ் த பெஸ்ட் ஆன்சர் ஹீட் இஸ் எ ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் டேஸ் ஆன்சர் ஆப்ஷன் சி தெர்மல் எனர்ஜி ஹீட் இஸ் அ ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் தெர்மல் எனர்ஜி Second question, if you apply some heat energy to a substance, which of the following can take place in it? Answer, option D, all the above. The following can take place in expansion, increase in temperature, change of state. So, here, option D, all the above. Which of the following substances will absorb more heat energy? Answer, option A, solid. Fourth question, if you apply equal amount of heat to your solid, liquid and gas individually, which of the following will have more expansion? Answer, option C, gas. Fifth question, the process of converting a liquid into a solid is called Answer, option C, freezing. The process of converting a liquid into a solid is called freezing. Sixth question, conduction is the way of heat transfer which takes place in a dash. Answer, option A, solid. Conduction is the way of heat transfer which takes place in a solid. Fill in the blanks. A calorimeter is a device used to measure the dash. Answer. Heat capacity of a substance. Heat capacity of a substance. A calorimeter is a device used to measure the heat capacity of of a substance second question dash is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of a substance by 1 degree c answer specific heat capacity specific heat capacity is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of a substance by 1 degree c third question a thermostat is a device which maintains dash answer the temperature of an object constant a thermostat is a device which maintains the temperature of an object constant fourth question the process of converting a substance from gaseous state to solid state is called dash answer deposition The process of converting a substance from gaseous state to solid state is called deposition. Fifth question, if you apply heat energy, the temperature of a system will dash. Answer, increase. If you apply heat energy, the temperature of a system will increase. Sixth question, if the temperature of a liquid in a container is decreased, then the interatomic distance will dash answer decrease if the temperature of a liquid in a container is decreased then the interatomic distance will decrease state true or false if false correct the statement The applied heat energy can be realized as an increase in the average kinetic energy of the molecules. Answer, true. The applied heat energy can be realized as an increase in the average kinetic energy of the molecules. True. 
second question the dimensions of a substance are increased if the temperature of the substance is decreased here answer is false the correct statement is the dimensions of a substance are decreased if the temperature of the substance is decreased third one the process of converting a substance from solid state to gaseous state is called condensation answer false the correct statement is the process of converting a substance from solid state to gaseous state is called sublimation the answer is sublimation fourth question convection is the process by which the thermal energy flows in solids answer false the correct statement is convection is the process by which the thermal energy flows in liquids and gases convection is the process by which the thermal energy flows in liquids and gases fifth question the amount of heat gained by substance is equal to the product of its mass and latent heat answer false the correct statement is the amount of heat gained by a substance is equal to the product of its mass and heat capacity of a substance mass and and its heat capacity of a substance sixth question in a thermos flask the silvered walls reflect and radiate the heat outside answer false the correct statement is in a thermos flask the silvered walls reflect and radiate the heat back to the liquid in the bottle in a thermos flask the silvered walls reflect and radiate the heat back to the liquid in the bottle match the following column 1 and column 2 are given in column 1 conduction convection radiation sublimation condensation in column 2 liquid gas to liquid solid to gas vacuum solid are given we have to match it correctly we can see the answer conduction solid conduction solid convection liquid convection liquid radiation vacuum radiation vacuum sublimation solid to gas sublimation solid to gas condensation gas to liquid condensation gas to liquid consider the statements given below and choose the correct option here the options for a both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion both assertion and reason are true but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion option c assertion is true but the reason is false option d assertion is false but the reason is true we have to choose the correct option question number 1 assertion radiation is a form of heat transfer which takes place only in vacuum reason the thermal energy is transferred from one part of a substance to another part without the actual movement of the atoms or molecules here assertion is true and reason is also true but reason does not explains correctly the assertion so here option is b both assertion and reason are true but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion question number 2 assertion a system can be converted from one state to another state reason it takes place when the temperature of the system is constant here 
assertion is true a system can be converted from one state to another state but the reason is false so here answer is option c assertion is true but the reason is false answer briefly first question what are the applications of conduction in our daily life answer application of conduction in our daily life we cook food in vessels made up of metals when the vessel is heated heat is transferred from the metal to the food when we iron dresses heat is transferred from the iron to the cloth second question what are the effects of heat answer effects of heat expansion increase in temperature change in state third question name three types of heat transfer answer three types of heat transfer are conduction convection radiation what is conduction answer the process of heat transfer in solids from the region of higher temperature to the region of lower temperature without the actual movement of atoms or molecules is called conduction fifth question write a short note on convection the form of heat transfer from places of higher temperature to places of lower temperature by the actual movement of molecules is called convection define specific heat capacity answer specific heat capacity of a substance is defined as the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of a substance by 1 degree c or 1 kelvin define one calorie answer one calorie is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree c answer in detail first question with the help of a neat diagram explain the working of a calorimeter a calorimeter is a device used to measure the amount of heat gained or lost by a substance working of a calorimeter it consists of a vessel made up of metals like copper or aluminum which are good conductors of heat and electricity the metallic vessel is kept in an insulating jacket to prevent heat loss to the environment there are two holes in it through one hole a thermometer is inserted to measure the temperature of the contents a stirrer is inserted through another hole for stirring the content in the vessel the vessel is filled with liquid which is heated by passing current through the heating element using this device we can measure the heat capacity of the liquid in the container second question write a note on thermostat thermostat A thermostat is a device which maintains the temperature of a place or an object constant. The word thermostat is derived from two Greek words, thermo meaning heat and static meaning staying the same. Thermostats are used in any device or system that gets heated or cools down to the preset temperature it turns an appliance or a circuit or off when a particular temperature is reached devices which use the thermostat include building heater central heater in a room air conditioner water heater as well as kitchen equipments including oven and refrigerators sometimes a thermostat functions both as the sensor and the controller of a thermal system third question explain the working of thermos flask answer working of thermos flask a thermos flask has double walls which are evacuated 
it is silvered on the inside the vacuum between the two walls prevents heat being transferred from the inside to the outside by conduction and convection with very little air between the walls there is almost no transfer of heat from the inner wall to the outer wall or vice versa conduction can only occur at the points where the two walls meet at the top of the bottle and through an insulated support at the bottom the silver walls reflect radiated heat back to the liquid in the bottle higher order questions why does the bottom of a lake not freeze in severe winter through the surface is all frozen when a lake freezes the upper layer freezes due to being in contact with the cold atmosphere this ice sheet doesn't sink as it is less dense than water this ice sheet acts like an insulator and keeps the water inside warm enough to be in a liquid form the water on the surface of a lake is frozen second question which one of the following statements about the thermal conductivity is correct give reason here option c is correct water steel wood reason liquid conducts heat faster than solid so water conducts heat more than steel wood is a bad conductor of heat steel is a good conductor of heat so steel conducts heat more than wood numerical problems an iron ball requires 1000 joule of heat to raise the temperature by 20 degrees c calculate the heat capacity of the ball here heat energy q is equal to 1000 joule raise in temperature delta t is equal to 20 degrees c Uh, kelvin amatrona 20 kelvin heat capacity c das is equal to we have to find out c das is equal to q by delta t uh, heat capacity c das is equal to 1000 j joule by 20 kelvin the four if we simplify we get uh, heat capacity c das is equal to 50 joule kelvin minus 1 second question The heat capacity of the vessel of mass 100 kg is 8000 joule per kelvin if we find its specific heat capacity here mass m is equal to 100 kg heat capacity c dash is equal to 8000 joule per kelvin specific heat capacity c is equal to q by m into delta t heat capacity c dash is equal to q by delta t So, if we heat capacity C, C is equal to C dash by M. Here, C dash is equal to 8000 joule per kelvin. We have to substitute for C dash is equal to 8000 joule per kelvin, and M is equal to 100 kilogram. So, for M, we have to put 100 kilogram. If we simplify, we get 80 joule per kilogram per kelvin is equal to 80 joule kilo kilo kelvin minus 1 kilogram minus 1 the for specific heat capacity c is equal to 80 joule kelvin minus 1 kilogram minus 1 thank you